Okay, so we have the CT08 cleaver. There it is. When you crack it out the box right there, it does include that case. Now the CT08 replaces the CT06 cleaver. Now, as I mentioned, it includes the case. It does include an Allen wrench. You're going to want to hang on to that. Don't lose that. Just keep it in the case at all times. And it does include a nice detailed sheet about your item here. All kinds of tips and everything you need to know about is in that sheet. But if you're like me, you don't like to read instructions. You kind of want to get your hands on it. So right out the box, you're going to want to always keep that, that little tab up. The yellow arrow lets you know that it's closed, and you just want to keep it closed like that in case, you know, you have it out in the field, drop it, you don't want to, it's just long term, it's better for the top piece to stay closed when you're not using it. When you use it, you want to go ahead and move the latch down, and then you can go ahead and get ready to use it. Now there's the top part of the CT-08, and as you can tell, this cleaver, they talk about it's being more user friendly. And I really like the old one, but for example, this one here, instead of pressing the, the button at the bottom to put the cleaver in place, you just have to open the top latch all the way, and it puts the cleaver in position. And then there's a good look at the top part. That's the other thing I like. You can crack it all the way open, and on the top of it, you can see if there's any little pieces of scrap of glass, any type of anything whatsoever to keep it all nice and clean up there compared to the old one. There, there's another example. You want to go ahead and open it all the way. Put the blade in position. Now there's the scrap collector right there. The previous model included two. One of them was really small. The other one was pretty large. And I would say this one's like the larger one. It's already included. The smaller one is pretty much pointless. I didn't like that. So that's kind of nice. This one includes a nice big one. And when you're, when you're done using your fiber, you want to go ahead and just put that lid back on, close it, and you know get rid of those little cleaves, those little pieces of glass that you're not going to use. Throw them away when you have a minute. Now there's the AD50. Now included with this cleaver is the AD50 part number. That adapter plate does not have a clamp. There is a separate part number if you want to order it with the clamp, but one of the things I like about this cleaver, it does mention it's user friendly. And after playing with it for a little bit, I think I like it without the clamp a little bit. And we'll get to that a little later. As so you can tell, it's numbered from 6 to 20. And you're going to want to cleave the AFL connectors at 10 and a half. That's the fast connectors. Now, one of the things I really like about this new cleaver is the blade itself. The position right there, numbered 1, 2, 16. Now the blade life is about 48,000 cleaves and then when you get done with maybe you feel like it's not cleaving as well, it's getting a little dull, you want to go ahead and rotate it to number two, lock it in place, and go ahead and start cleaving. And on the bottom right there, once you want to move it to the next number, you want to go ahead and turn that wheel and it'll move it to the next slot and you want to keep rotating that until you go around once. And as you can tell, it's easy to see the numbers. Compare to the old one, the CT-06. See, there's a very small little dot internally on that inside there. You want to move it to the next line. And how you do that is with the wrench, you're going to want to stick it in the side and you want to just move it just enough to where you can see it. Rotate that little dot to the next line. And then that moves the blade up once and you want to go ahead and go around the wheel one more time. Okay, what else can I tell you about this thing? Now it is designed for single cleave applications and one of the things I like about user friendly right here, this is an example, I didn't strip them, but if you have a six strand fiber, all you have to do is put in place the ten and a half, pull the top back all the way, prep the, prep the blade, cleave it, go to the next strand, push it down, cleave it, go to the next strand, next uh, strand, push it down, cleave it, and so on and so forth. But it was really easy. The old one you'd have to move the tab, push the button in one time, and you'd have to do it all over again. So uh, if you have a lot of fibers to do, which obviously you probably do if you got the tool with 48,000 cleaves, this is going to probably be, I, I would say, definitely more user friendly. I like it. So long term, I think it's going to be fantastic for you if you got a lot of these to do and you plan on getting a toolkit to expand your business.